time for another kayak adventure. Kelly's Island. All right, we have a 20 minute ferry ride to go the three and a quarter miles to Kelly's Island. This is the setup for tonight. So I forgot my trekking poles for the duplex and I forgot my underquilt for my hammock. But between the two combinations, I think I'm gonna be able to make this work. I have my sleeping pad inside and I'll probably put very little air in it because it's only gonna be low 60s tonight. At least I won't freeze. We have arrived here on Kelly's Island, more specifically Camp Patmos. Everybody is just about set up and we're gonna embark on a short kayak trip before it gets dark. I have a few special guests. You know, I have special guests on every trip. I have a few distinguished guests on this specific trip and I'm gonna come over here and introduce you to them now. All right, joining me and the Colonel on our last river trip at Mill Creek was David Ty. Uh -huh. How's it going, David? And he has a sense. nickname. It's Hollywood. Hollywood. I get that nickname. The Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> that happens on every trip now. Donnie Macaluso. How's it going, Donnie? Pretty good. Ready to get on the water. And none other than the pastor of Calvary Baptist Church, Jeff Willits. Hi, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're not supposed to clap. <laughs> and this is Pastor Donnie, by the way. Hey. Our uh, youth and families pastor, correct? Yep. Okay. So we have a light drizzle going on right now, overcast skies, but uh, we're making the most of it. Everybody is set up. We have uh, Jeff over there in his makeshift, makeshift blue tarp. <laughs> David, what do you got here? The Marmot Mercury. Marmot. Two man or one man? They call it two. One's comfortable. Very nice. And Colonel, he's got the old Chinese puzzle again. The Walmart special, Ozark Trail. It's a bad penny or a disease, you just can't get rid of it. <laughs> Donnie Mack is rocking the bear butt. Tarp, hammock, bug net. I like the colors, Donnie, that's pretty sweet. All right, we came here to do some kayaking, so that is just what we are going to do. Heading out here in a few minutes and get on the water. Okay, so the reason we ended up coming to Camp Patmos was we were wanting to go to camp on one of these islands. We looked at Put-in Bay, we looked at Middle Bass Island, and we knew they were gonna be packed, especially on Labor Day weekend. So um, we kind of have uh, a relationship with uh, the director here at Camp Patmos, and he said we're more than welcome to come and do some camping right here at their facilities and it worked out great there's no one here there was like a hundred some people here 
uh, j that just left today. So we lucked out getting this whole place to ourselves. There's even restroom facilities, water, electricity, and it looks like we're only 100 yards away from the beach and Lake Erie. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, we're here at the lake shore and we got about a 10 mile an hour breeze and that does not look very fun to kayak in. If it was 85 degrees and sunny and not 70 degrees, that might be fun. But we're gonna get wet out there. So we're going to drive back to the other side of the island uh, where there's no wind and flat water and docks to launch from. I think we'll have better luck there. Man, you would love riding these waves, wouldn't you, Colonel? Oh yeah, I'd be on a paddleboard all over this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm supposed to talk. I wasn't given any explicit instructions. <laughs> we are now here at Willits Lodge, named after Earl Willits, Pastor Jeff's grandfather, who was the second pastor ever at Calvary Baptist Church, and my grandfather's pastor at Calvary Baptist Church. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I just missed it. Man, David took a tumble on that slick spot. Zebra muscles are slippery. <laughs> I am ready for my maiden voyage on my new Perception Hook 10.5 on Lake Erie. David is rocking the Pelican that he just purchased from me that I purchased two years ago at Rural King. Donnie is on the field and stream Eagle Talon. Pick this up from Colonel's, uh, Colonel's Dockery. Once again, Colonel's on the old Eagle Talon. All right, we're off on our first little adventure here. We have about two hours till dark, so we're only gonna go a couple miles. I think we're gonna head out here to the point and get on some rough water and see how our kayaks handle it. It's finally starting to clear up. Look at that. Right over there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's put in bay. Where I believe Kid Rock is playing tonight or maybe it was last night but I am glad I am not there no privacy over there so we have beautiful color in the sky no rain right now that is lovely yes it's not sunny and hot right around 72 degrees is comfortable but I'm just happy it's not raining so far we're having an amazing time and we are just about ready to go around the point here, out into the wind and the waves. Let's go see what it's like. All right, I probably shouldn't be filming right now because this is my good Canon G7 X Mark II and I don't have my GoPro anymore, you know, since I've lost it on the Big Darby Creek. Anyway, the swells aren't real bad right now. Every now and then there's about a four or five foot swell, but it's pretty rough out here. And Jeff has already spilled twice. He can't get back out here because the waves are so high. He's got three foot waves rolling in and he can't get back out. So I'm trying to zoom in on him. Wow. His kayak over there on the rock ledge and he's walking down the beach for some reason trying to find a calm place to get in. But uh, we have some rough, rough water. Other than being on the ocean for a little bit in Siesta Key, this is probably the roughest water uh, body of water in a lake that I have kayaked on and it is almost pushing me into shore so I'm gonna put this away and get back out in the calmer waters. Bald eagle sighting right there guys. Oh come on I can't hold it steady out here in these waves all zoomed in. There he goes. Right over the sunset. Pretty nice. We thought you had to walk down the lakeshore a little bit to get your paddle. I did. Oh, it did I float away? I was, <laughs> I was going down to retrieve my paddle. I was like, yes. That's when I found the good water. Because every time I kept coming, it would come going further and further. I'm like, <laughs> and that was slippery rock, I bet. Did it you keep was. falling? So I'm trying to think, okay. Oh, the I zebra remember muscles. Zebra muscles got him. Yeah, I got scraped on oh, the Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. 
was worth surviving. We are having some delicious food over the fire. It's more like baked potatoes, fresh picked sweet corn, well done burgers. No, they're just right. And fresh field grown tomatoes. Mm -hmm. How's it taste, guys? Good. Awesome. Good. Good stuff. Excellent. Good time. We are enjoying our baked potatoes with Donnie's homemade spoons. Everybody forgot to bring a spoon except uh, David a and I. Water bottle. Yep. Cut in half. Take the top off. Nicely oh, done. Let's see here. What's the special ingredient in our potatoes, though? Onions. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sauteed candy onions straight from the farm. You know it. Right inside that baked potato with butter. Yep. And there it mm -hmm. is. Pound number two going on the skillet. Morning, Colonel. How did you sleep last night? I was up all night. <laughs> up all night, huh? Yep. Once slept again. Probably 40 minutes, maybe total. 40 minutes? Tossed and turned a lot. Huh. I saw every hour. I know that. No snoring? None. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I snore. Wow, that's a first. <laughs> Donnie, how did you sleep last night? Oh, not bad. Yep, it was good. Uh, hammock held up. Uh, I think I saw every half hour. Every half hour. <laughs> Over here, this side of camp. How'd everybody sleep? Oh, like a baby. Okay. Are you serious? Nice. Impressive. For the first time in a hammock, I can't believe it. I thought for sure you'd be tossed and turning all night. No, wasn't. I slept pretty good, except Physically. somebody over by Colonel's tent kept snoring. I don't know what that was all about. It was that guy that slept most of the night. That's right. This is darn raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Colonel. Huh. The eggs are ready. Onto our homemade plates of paper towels and aluminum foil. That's pretty impressive. I have never done over medium eggs on the fire. Water now. We are loaded up and ready to hit the water for day two. Fortunately for us, the sunshine has decided to make an appearance. It's gonna be an awesome morning out on Lake Erie. Let's get the kayaks in the water. Way over there we have Cedar Point. You can just barely make it out. Probably 10 miles away or so. There goes one of the ferries leaving Kelly's Island, heading back to Marblehead. And it looks like some of the state park campers are heading out. There's at least three or four on there, it looks like. Well, we have arrived back to camp. We got off the water safely, had a great time. We didn't get to actually circumnavigate the whole island because we were fighting the wind and the waves a little too much. So we went about three miles around. At that point, we either had to make a decision to continue on the next five or six or turn around and come back. And since the wind was so bad, we opted to come back to camp, get some lunch, get packed up and hit the road. And there's the Colonel with all the boats. Bag right here, Donnie. We are here at the Glacial Grooves here on Kelly's Island. These things are pretty cool. Check this out. Hmm. Pretty good ice cream? Darn good ice cream. What's your opinion and thoughts of this Glacial Groove? As small as it is, I could have done it with a loose chisel. <laughs> so Jason, which way do you think the glacier traveled? <laughs> My guess is downhill. <laughs>
Good grief, this looks like a Florida highway when a hurricane's coming. About an hour wait to get on the barge. Thanks, all the way. We finally departed Kelly's Island. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. I'm flying my drone, looking for my tomato plane. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this trip up. We are almost back to Marblehead. Had a great time on Kelly's Island, even though it was just a one night nice stay. Definitely want to go back and check out more of the island, do some more exploring. Who knew you could have so much fun with two pastors? Guys, we had a blast. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Jason Wish, wishing you a great time on your next adventure. Yeah!